Make sure you hit the like, make sure you hit the subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell. Let's support Bobby's channel. Thanks, guys. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby, episode 3, Ask a Farmer. Guys, it is time to investigate. Often you hear vegans brag about their diet. It is cruelty free. No deaths required for my plate. Is that really so? Today we want to investigate, we want to ask Rob Tunks. What is the difference between accidental and intentional death? So where we're standing here, we had hay bales. So we had uh, 342 hay bales here. And as we've been lifting up the last 10, we've been counting how many mice have been underneath. And we've averaged about six mice per hay bale that we've been feeding out to the lambs. Sure, we're damaging their burrows when we lift these hay bales up, but what we're not doing is killing them. There's plenty of feed still here and they can move, make a new home somewhere else. And the other thing we're not doing is we're not digging down to find out how many mice are actually there. So. When Bobby comes over to Australia, what we'll do is we'll come out with a shovel and we'll dig up a few of these holes and find out what the real numbers is. But for now, we're seeing six. And even what, playing the video back that we've shot, you can see there's actually more of them moving around in the burrows than the ones that we counted um, on top. So we counted, we've counted. we just been counting the ones we easily see, but you'll see in the corner of some of the footage, um, there's actually mice moving through the burrows. 342 hay bales by six, so 2,052 mice. That's how many mice we are going to kill if we tear this paddock up and plant oats. So that's my intention this year is to put some oats in. So the vegans watching this, leave a comment below if you want me to do that. You know, there's 2,000, at least 2,000 animals are going to die for me sowing down this small section of paddock. So there's 10 hectares here. You can see from the drone footage, there's 10 hectares here. At the very minimum, we're killing 2,052 animals. That's the minimum. And I'm sure the number's way higher than that because we haven't dug up these burrows. You can probably double that. There's probably 4,000 animals, just field mice. Now there's snakes, there's lizards, there's some birds you can hear in the background. Most of them are gonna to die too. And that doesn't include the chemical runoff that's gonna run off down the waterways and get into the ponds around here and the billabongs and the lakes and the streams and kill mosquito larvae, which then has a knock-on effect that you're killing frogs, has a knock-on effect that you're killing everything else like the ducks and that that feed on them. So. None of this death's incidental. This is all pre-planned and premeditated. We can stop right now. I can say, no, I'm not gonna put oats in. Let's just eat these lambs and wear the wool. So 1,500 lambs came off this property last year that were sold into the market, plus the turning over of the old sheep. So there's another 200 there. So there's 1,700 animals died to produce the food off this place from last year. If I put a crop in here, we're gonna be well over the 2000s and that's just the ones we can find. So we're gonna be way higher than that. You're talking 4,000 sentient animal deaths. That doesn't even include the insects and that. And none of this is accidental. This is all premeditated. Like, leave a comment below if you want me to plant these oats for you. Do you want me to grow an oat crop? Yes or no? Simple question before I start. If the answer is yes, it's obviously premeditated. I know how many animals are gonna die. You know how many animals are gonna die right now. It's gonna be over 2,000 just for this oat crop. Okay, or you can go and eat some of my lambs, 1,700. There's your choices. And it's not, there's no accidental about it. Everything I do, if I bait, premeditated. If I rip this paddock up, it's premeditated. It's all 100% premeditated. There's no such thing as accidental deaths. That's baloney. Bit of mental gymnastics. But yeah, it's horseshit. Hey, Jumpy, horseshit. Not that we got any horses around here. You know, or you can do even better. You can eat one of my neighbor's cows. You killed one cow for the year. One grass-fed animal versus the amount of deaths that are gonna occur here. Like it's not close and it's nothing accidental about it, it's all 100% intentional.